Hey guys, my name is Skylar Coleman and I'm here to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about what it means to be a veteran. Um, so a little bit about myself real quick is um, I went to Triad High School is where I graduated from in 2007. In January of 2008, I enlisted in the Marine Corps. Um, I enlisted to be an 0311, which is an infantryman. Uh, and I ended up doing three deployments while I was in, um, my last one being to Afghanistan, uh, to uh, Helmand Province. Um, and on May 30th, 2011, I stepped on an IED while out on patrol. Um, a little bit about that patrol is earlier that morning, um, a vehicle from 3rd Platoon had ran over an IED, which is an improvised explosive device. And my squad was sent out to go talk to the locals to see if they had any information. As we were going out, um, we seen a burning tire, so we knew where to go. And my team was setting up on security while the other team was talking to locals. Um, right as we were about ready to pick up and leave, uh, the other team had called me and said it was time to go. So I told my guys we're heading out, and as I was leaving the compound, I ended up stepping on the IED, and the injuries I sustained was I lost my left leg below the knee, um, I had about five screws on my left knee, my femur was broken in three separate pieces, and I have two fingers on my left uh, hand that don't work anymore. Um, there's a metal rod going through my arm here, you can kind of see this is blown out a little bit. Um, lost hearing in my left ear and took shrapnel to the face. Um, after that, I had to go to uh, Bethesda, uh, to Walter Reed, to um, do a year of surgeries and therapy to get back together and, you know, work everything out. Um, but since then, after I got out, I, uh, me and a friend of mine, we had started a nonprofit organization for combat veterans. Uh, it's called Mohawk Outdoors, and what we do is we take combat veterans out on hunts all over the U.S. Our goal is just to show these combat veterans that, you know, might be struggling a little bit uh, and don't really like to leave the house, that, you know, our goal is to show them that there are still things that you can do. Nothing can really stop you. Um, and just trying to get them to feel good about themselves again, you know, bring them back feeling like their old selves again is our, is our ultimate goal. So it's a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff. Um, and honestly, I really like, uh, I think being a veteran is pretty cool. I, even though I got out a little bit sooner than what I had planned, I still have no complaints. I think I could have had a better experience even though I did get injured in combat. But, you know, the people you meet, um, you will make the best friends you'll ever have in the military. People will have your back no matter what and you do the same for them. The other great thing about it is you get to travel all over the place. I mean, I've been to, I don't know, I'd say probably eight countries, maybe 10. Um, I've, I've been all over and it's just, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun, you know, in my mind. But, um, so that's just a little bit about me. Um, and you know, I get asked a lot, well, how do you say, you know, how do you stay so positive after what happened to you? And, you know, things like that. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I do have my days here and there where, you know, it does kind of bum me out. But, you know, with something like, <clears throat> excuse me, with something like that, you can't let it affect your life. It, it might suck from time to time. But at the end of the day, these are the cards you are dealt with. And, you know, life's going to go easier if you decide to make the best of things. So, you know, just... Uh, keep your head up, keep pushing. And if there's anything, you know, if you guys want to enlist in the military one day, if it's a dream of yours, you know, and even if it's not, whatever dream of yours is, you know, hold on to it and don't stop. Keep chasing it and one day you'll get there. Um, so I want to thank you all for asking me to do a quick little video for you guys. Um, yeah, so happy Veterans Day to the other veterans and uh, talk to you guys later.